Here's a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Now I'm going to be setting it up on my Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy Fold 5. First thing is go ahead and turn your watch on. Press and hold that power button until it boots up. And then once you get here, just leave it just like that. Now go ahead and grab your phone. Go to the Play Store and you want to look for Galaxy Wearable. You may already have it downloaded, okay? Galaxy wearable app right there. Go ahead and tap on that and go ahead and download that, okay? Once you download that, it should be in your Samsung folder, okay? See my Samsung, my Google, Microsoft, my Samsung folder there? Let me tap on that and it should be in here, just Galaxy wearable right there. So let's go ahead and tap on that right there. And then from here, we're going to continue here. Continue. And you can redo this up to you. I'm going to go ahead and allow for myself. Okay, check the number in your watch. Oh, what do you know? Does this uh, two numbers match? Yes. The watch is also vibrating, keeps vibrating here. So let me go ahead and tap on confirm here on the phone and also on the watch. Now it says check your phone to complete setup, okay? So let's put that down. Sign in for more features. You can go and sign into your Samsung account or you can skip and do it later, okay? I'm just gonna skip and do mine later. So I'm gonna tap on skip right there. For your review, go ahead and read through these. The first two must be enabled in order for you to proceed, okay? So I'm fine with just the two up there. I'm gonna tap on continue. Read through this here for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and allow that. Allow Galaxy 6 Manager to send you notifications. That's optional. I will put allow for myself. Terms and service, usage and diagnostic reports and location. These are optional, okay? But for myself, I'm fine with having both of them enabled. And I'm going to tap on agree down here. Get updates automatically. You can update manually or get updates automatically, okay? So I'm going to go with automatic here. Getting your watch ready. This may take a few minutes. Sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail. Sign into a Google account on your watch to use Google Maps, download new apps, and use Find My Device, okay? Now, you can skip this or you can proceed. They already found my Gmail's already on there, so I'm going to go ahead and just tap on Next for me. Got to enter my PIN password, and then I'm going to tap on Continue. Select apps for your watch, okay? And it says here, installed on your device. They already, you can go ahead and uncheck what you don't want. Like I don't want Spotify here. And then you also recommend it for watches. You can click down here. If you want all of them, you can just tap right there. But you can go ahead and just look through this. I'm gonna go with Strava here. And that's good. Anything else you can always download later on as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue here. Automatic watch backup, read through that, tap on next. Samsung smart switch, transfer your data, backup and restore your data, go ahead and read through this. If you agree and want to continue, tap on continue. Smart switch uses these permissions, okay? Go ahead and look through all these. And if you agree, go ahead and tap on allow. Smart switch on watch uses these permissions, read through that. If you agree, tap on allow. Checking for backups. Message here pops up for me, update Samsung Cloud. You need to update your Samsung Cloud to copy and watch backups, okay? So for myself, I will go ahead and update. Set your wearing preferences. So for myself, my preferred wrist, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my left wrist. Button position right of the screen. Yes, it's gonna be on the right hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next right there. Text size appearance, you can go ahead and make that bold. I will make mine bold and I'll make it a little bit larger like that and I will click on next. Always on display, let's tap on next. Get help in emergency, if you're in an emergency, you can go ahead and tap the home button five times consecutively, consecutively and automatically call emergency services. If you live in the US, it'd be like 911, just FYI. I'll go ahead and tap on next. Track your daily activity, read through that, tap on next. 
understand your sleep for better rest. Get hard zone guidance while you are running. Next. Take your running to a new level with advanced metrics. Get notified when an irregular heart rhythm is detected. Finish, finishing up, this may take a few minutes. And from here, you can go ahead and tap down here for tips and user manual if you want to go ahead and read through that. Voila, we are all set. And it says you are all set on the watch as well. Watch is starting up now. Now it says take a tour of your watch. You can go ahead and start that if you wish, or you can just go ahead and just skip it. And we are in business. There you go. Questions or issues, comment below.